So we got a statement from community lead, Michael Loreno. And I figured I'd share it with you guys in case you haven't seen it. It's just on Steam, easy to find. Go to the page, you'll find it. And let's just get to it. First and foremost, we need to apologize for how the initial rollout of the hardware specs communication went. I totally agree with. It was confusing and distressful for many of you. And we're hoping and we're here to provide clarity. Sorry, I can't read. And this part, I think, is it definitely needs some emphasis, I think. Because just because you're under the specs doesn't mean you won't be within the specs. in like, say, six months, I don't want to say much sooner than that, because I don't know. But they are working on bringing them down um, as they kind of get to down here. But we'll get to that. This part's important. The game is certainly playable on machines below our minimum spec. But because no two people play the game exactly the same way, and because a physics sandbox game of this kind creates literally limitless potential for players to build anything and go anywhere, it's very challenging to predict the experience that any particular player will have on day one. We've chosen to be conservative for the time being in, to in order to manage player expectations. We will update these spec recommendations as the game evolves, which I really hope does happen kind of soon, sooner than six months, but I, hopefully it's really stable. You know what I mean? Also, yeah, that was a little weird to just like, oh, hey. And then also they like lowered that. They lowered that to an older generation card. But I'm pretty sure that card has eight gigabytes of RAM or VRAM. So I don't, <laughs> I think that's actually like, a 1070 Ti and a 2060 are, and it's like they're, they aren't exactly cheap cards, but this is for the point one, So it's not for 1.0. Just know that. But also, if you're under spec, maybe be skeptical to buy it on launch and hold off. Watch some people like don't throw $50 to, to them and then kind of be upset when it doesn't really perform very well because they're kind of telling you to manage your expectations with this. And I don't want you to not enjoy it. And like, let's be honest. A lot of like a lot of people who are going to see this vid are so into KSP that YouTube is promoting my channel to them. So let's keep that in mind. You won't be told I'm not gonna you not to buy it. Yeah. <laughs> I can't talk. As you can tell. Um, but let's continue. I think this part is really important though. which is just get it working, get it stable, get it performant, and then get it modern, which I really, like, that really is going to be a cycle that we'll go through with this early access, I think. And I think that's a good thing. And also, I think the main thing to keep in mind is we're all going to have criticisms but uh, if they aren't constructive, they're kind of useless. You're, if your opinion is this game sucks, like, I'm sorry. But just go play another game. Like, if you can tell us why it sucks, that's much better. Just me as a community member. Like, it's very annoying when people just have a negative attitude and it's like 
they aren't coming from a place where they want it to improve. It's like they want it to fail. And just keep that in mind when you're reading comments and criticisms that like we're, I feel like we're in a really unique spot where the devs are willing to listen to criticisms we have and they want to make a good game because like a lot of them love this game too. So like I would love for this game to be launched as a full release with all features. That's just not reality. And the fact that this is a triple A game and not an indie game like means a lot of different things. Like one, like a boardroom of people isn't going to sit there and like be like, "Oh yeah, well, it's not a full game. Let's let's lower the price to twenty dollars." That's just not going to happen without changing the monetary model of this game, which is the worst case scenario. Besides this game getting canceled, which I am like, I'm so thankful that this game didn't get canceled because I love KSP one, but in like two or three years, like it's, it's just going to be behind in a tech kind of a way, like where other game like Parallax and the new Eve volumetric clouds. Like, I don't think KSP one is capable of looking all that much better. And like, let's also be honest the KSP one runs like dog shit. Like it kind of runs like dog shit. Like one thing I was super impressed with in the play tests is the loading times. I, that was one of my worries that it was going to be like playing RP one where you, you're going to test a rocket and it's, you know, the test is going to be less than a minute. And it takes you seven minutes to load on the pad, even though you spent $2,000 on a computer. And that is a very modded version of KSP. That's super modded. But also, like, if this is the worst version of KSP2 that we get, good God, that is a blessing. <laughs> because, like, I remember not having Delta B. I did notice that they didn't have thrust to weight in the playtests, and that's confusing. They need that in there immediately. If you have Delta V, why don't you have that? Because that's way easier math. That's way easier to do. Oh, although it is a static number that changes. But before I get too sidetracked, I think that's about it. Um, but terrain optimization is number one, which I think is fantastic. Of course. But I think a, a really good thing is I it seems to be that the performance issues on the playtest had to do with the fuel flow resource system optimization, which is basically this has to do with CPU intensive fuel flow and Delta V update calculations that are exacerbated when multiple engines are pulling from a common fuel source. So I would say tomorrow, hell yeah, it's tomorrow. I can't even believe it. I'm, 13 hours away right now as I'm recording this. Oh man, I'm so excited. 
I'm ready. <laughs> but keep that in mind. If you're having performance issues, maybe try a larger engine. This is like a sandbox mode, so it's not like you have to start with the small engines, the 1.25s, or as now I think they're called, probably small. There's like small, medium, large, and extra large or something. I can't remember the tags. But I did love the color coding. I think the planets look so good. Like Duna from space looks so good. I'm I like, I might go to Duna first just because of what I saw on the play test. I was planning on going to Jewel because that's my favorite system. But Duna is always, I love Duna too. Dune is your boy. But I'm Beetle Rock. I think that's it for this vid. Um, I, I will do a performance video to let you know where I'm at and some other people that I know are with their hardware. I'm trying to gather like a decent amount of data, mostly on like the lower end, because if you have a 3080 or a, if you have a 3070 even, like that's what I have. You can probably play it, hopefully. But um, I'll try and keep you updated on performance, what everybody's getting on certain hardware. And um, But then also I have a very big project that I'm trying to do as a, my first like big KSP2 video. And you'll know when you see it, if you see it. But um, I'm pretty excited about it. It's... It's going to be a project, so it might be a couple weeks even. I'll try and get it out this week, but we will see. Anyway, you guys have a good one. I love the KSP community from top to bottom. It's the last wholesome place on the internet. But I will see you guys tomorrow. You guys have a good one.